So I'm in an example underline question, and the instructions on the left-hand side tell me to underline the short vowel in the word, and I can see the word over here on the right-hand side. Underneath those instructions are a little bit more information about what I can do to underline using an iPad. So just to summarize, it says a long press on the word is required to enable selection. Once the cursors appear, adjust them. So we're gonna use our fingers to adjust them to select the appropriate sequence of letters and then we're gonna tap on our selection. So let's do a couple of these together just so we can go over what that looks like. So I'm gonna come over to my word here, fed, and I'm gonna zoom in just so we get a good look at it. And remember my job is to underline the short vowel. So I think the short vowel in this case is the E so the first thing I need to do to get started is to press and hold on the word until I see it light up in blue and I have my two cursors, one on either side. Now I think this is where you are and you're getting the copy and the lookup, the same menu that I have here. So you're almost done. You're almost where you need to be. So right now, if I submitted this, I would be saying, I think F E D. I think all of that is a short vowel. I think in my mind that the short vowel is just the E. So I'm going to use my fingers to narrow down so the blue is just including the E. Once you have your cursors adjusted and narrowed down onto the letter or letters you want, just click on that letter or letters one more time uh. to submit it. So I know I got this right because it's in green and also because it was read aloud to me. So I'm gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna to get to another question. Give me one second here. And we'll try this one more time. So it's the same instructions. We're gonna underline the short vowel in the word. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So remember the first thing we need to do is put our finger on the word and hold until the whole word is, is highlighted. Then we're going to use our finger to narrow down and adjust where we have the highlight. So if I think the short vowel is the T, I can just highlight the T. If I think the short vowel is the I, I can just highlight the I. So I do think the short vowel is just the I, so I'm gonna make sure just the I is highlighted. And to submit my answer, I'm gonna click on the I one more time with my finger. Mm. 